Here we go. This is the bathymetry. Okay, this is from the Tom Check Gottfried textbook. And the bathymetry is shown in the book. Most of them come in the same, use the same uh, display. Okay, you can always see the uh, purple regions, okay, which are regions where the total water depth exceeds five kilometers. And these are so-called deep basins. Okay, and so in this graph here, you can see the Southwest Pacific Basin. So before I start with that, you can see that the, 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 uh, the region around the South Pole, around Antarctica, is actually all connected. Okay, this is what we call the Southern Ocean. There is a free connection, okay, all around the Southern Hemisphere. And the current that connects all the oceans of this area is called the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. Circumpolar because it runs around the Earth. Okay? So going back to the, to the depth uh, uh, um, distribution that you can see here. So apart from the deep basin, you can also see the areas which is sort of, you know, between three and 5,000 meters depth. Deep and then the big contrast are the so called ridges, rich systems, which are less than 3,000 meters deep. Okay, here you can see the rich systems. And what they do, these rich systems, is, is they limit the exchange of water, which is deeper than the, uh, the rich. Okay, so you can see several rich systems. So the major constraint of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current is actually the existence of Drake Passage, which is a narrow passage, okay, between what we know the Weddell Sea, okay, and this this area, and South America. You can see it is a narrower connection. It's called a passage. But there's also the constraint that this area has a shallower water. Okay, there is a rich system which, which constrains the, the flow going through this area. Okay, this is a major constraint for the flow, the connection of the flow uh, along the um, Southern Ocean. All right. Okay. So that that's how it looks like. And the big difference, if you compare it to the to the Arctic Ocean, is that it's actually a continent that sits on the South Pole. And this figure here is actually not one hundred percent correct because it shows you more not the land, but it actually shows you more the ice that sits on continent and the ocean. Okay, and let's see whether I have a little bit more detail on the next slide about how the Antarctic Ocean or the continent, okay, how the continent really looks like under the ice. 